Leo, Leo, Leo. How are you, Leo? We're going to do a reading um, for you and your person, whoever you're thinking about while you're watching this video. Okay. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment if you would like to be entered to win a free personal reading. Okay. I give away one every week. They're announced on Sunday. To be entered for that, you're going to want to like, share, subscribe, and comment hashtag Lilith's Window Tarot. All one word, hashtag and all, no apostrophe, Lilith's Window Tarot, hashtag Lilith's Window Tarot. All right. All right, guys. Um, also, I'm still doing $10 off. We're having a lot of fun doing those. Guys, they're a blast. I love connecting with you guys. It makes me so happy. I was just telling, I told several people that yesterday. I was just like this. It just makes me happy. I appreciate it so much. We are having a ton of fun. Okay. So if you want to book a personal reading, they're $10 off right now. Um, just shoot me an email. It's in the description box below. In the meantime, this is a general reading. It certainly cannot and will not resonate for everyone. Check your other placements, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, especially Venus, because that's how we present in relationships, okay? Um, also, cross watchers welcome. Roles can be reversed. There is no gender in tarot. What else? I'm going to put you on one side, your person on the other. Okay, feel free to flip it around. We could also get a mix of both people's energy on both sides. Take the information, the messages, and the reading as it comes and take it as it resonates, okay? So they're putting on a roof on a house across the street. So that's noisy. And my dog is barking at them the entire time. So that's noisy. So welcome to the farm. The funny farm. Anyway. All right, guys. Let's get into this for Leo. What does Leo need to know for the highest good of all involved? For Leo. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. For Leo. 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 Ace of Swords, look at that. A brand new beginning, cutting away all the BS, all the drama, all the problems, an epiphany, clarity, a moment of truth. We have the Six of Cups. All right, well, there it is. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles. The Strength card, there you are. There you are, showing up. Big Bad Leo. We've got the three of pentacles. We have the lovers. So this is a very, very, very intense connection. I'm just letting you know. You two are just, there's just animal magnetism. All right. We've got the ten of pentacles. We've got the page of wands. We have the nine of cups. We have the knight of cups. We've got the Seven of Swords, and we have the Page of Swords. Somebody may be watching you in secret, or you them, however mm -hmm. it resonates, but we've got this Ace of Swords, bottom of the deck. Beautiful. All right, let's do it. We have the Six of Cups, Card of Reconciliation, Past Life Soulmates. Okay, th this is somebody you know. Somebody you've been in a relationship with before, with before, whether it was this life or a past life, but this is a very intense connection with the Six of Cups, the Strength card, and the Lovers. It's just a very intense connection. All right. And also with this Nine of Swords, I feel like you just constantly feel this person all the time. There's no getting away from it, no matter what you do. All right. Six of Cups, Six of Cups, Six of Cups. A lot of passion for this person. A lot of passion. Um, give me one more. I want to draw another one before I say anything here. Strength card. Okay. This is just an intense connection. This is a strong connection. No matter where you go, no matter what you're doing, you two are just pulled. You are in each other's orbit. Okay. You can't change gravity, man. You just can't. You cannot change the pull, the gravitational pull towards one another. And there is a lot of drama, I think, or there will be around this connection, regarding this connection. This person may very well be brainstorming, trying to figure out how to get back to their Leo with the Six of Cups, Five of Wands, Strength, Energy. Nine of Swords, it, it's they're just they're just in your thoughts, in your mind, in your dreams, in your every single day, all day long, everything. Both of you guys are. 
yeah, six of swords, there's that pull. It's like, no matter what you do, you just keep getting pulled, right? They're trying to come back towards you. They really are. I don't know what's going on yet, but there's, they're trying to come back towards you. They've just got something to do first. I don't, I'm not sure. Well, here we have the queen of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. You may not be speaking to this person. There's something that may be keeping, this is all swords energy. So you're probably not talking to this person. There's something, someone, a situation or something that's keeping them from coming towards you, from talking to you. I mean, with this page of pentacles, they are going to come towards you. They are going to talk to you. Ten of pentacles. They certainly could be in a, in a relationship right now that they've been in for a long time. Specifically five, six years. But. They want to communicate a solid offer to you. And they have for a long time. This has been on their mind for a long time. They've been facing your direction for a long time, working on this relationship, working on how to get out of it or how to handle it or whatever this is, right? They have something invested, time, money, energy, relationship, right? Somewhere else. All right. So here we have this strength card again, Leo, again, Knight of Cups. This, they cannot deny this attraction and this, this, this wanting to gravitate your direction. There's just nothing they can do. Yeah. Passion, chemistry, ace of wands. They got the hots for you, man. So here we have the three of pentacles. I mean, we already have, we have strength twice. We've got the lovers. We've got the six of cups. I mean, this is, this is your person. This is a very, very strong connection. Three of Pentacles. They want to come around and, and reconcile with you, reconnect with you and build a strong future, right? Could be a Pisces. Doesn't have to be. They're trying to figure out how to get there. They're trying to figure it out. They're staying where they are for now, but they're trying to figure it out. Yeah, you're their happiness. They want forever with you. Here we have the lover's card, right? And the king of pentacles. He may very well be um, kind of like the head of the household in another connection, right? Making more money than the other person does. Um, they could be involved in, I mean, if they're, if this is somebody that's been with another person for a while, whether they're married or not, I mean, obviously there's, their money is tied up in that relationship, right? But they want to come forward. You may very well get some communication from them before they actually exit this relationship, that that's what they're planning on doing. All right. So here we have this 10 of pentacles up here. I do feel like they want this 10 of pentacles to be with you. They are just, they've invested time, money somewhere else, but look at that. They want a new beginning with you. They want to leap of faith into something that is long-term and committed with you. This could be reversed too, guys. Nine of wands. Yeah, they still are holding a lot of passion for you. Um, this person has, has, they know that they're going, they're, they're either going through it or they're going to have to go through it. It's just, they're just, it's like that wounded warrior. They are going to have to go through, you know, this, this stress, worry, you know, this process of breaking free from so that they can move towards you. Okay. Whatever that is. And like I said, you may very well get some communication from them in the meantime with this page of wands. Um, you're going to know how they feel. They just can't, they just can't move towards you yet. I do feel like that's, that, that's kind of the order of things. Yeah. They're going to reach out and communicate to you that they want to heal things with you. They think about you all the time and they've thought about you for a long time. I get a sense of they almost, it's like this relationship that they're in was safe. I don't know what that means. Okay. But it wasn't a gamble. It was, it was safe. And maybe with you, things were a gamble. Like, you know, I mean, Leo's are very, very passionate, very feisty. Um, you know, we move pretty quickly. You know, we're, we're a big energy. So there, it's possible, you know, that they felt it was risky or something, or it was too big and it scared them. I, I don't know. 
but they've been thinking about you for like, I'm going to say for four years now, like all the time, all the time. Yeah. Waiting for the right time. Three of wands, being patient and waiting for the right time. Okay. Nine of cups, wish fulfillment, right? King of wands. This is your wish fulfillment, Leo. You want this person. You are single and you are holding out for this person. And the king of wands typically gets what he wants, right? I see it. I want it. It's mine. Not going to give up. Not going to give up. Yeah. Reconciliation, happiness, not giving up on their happiness. So here they finally come, Knight of Cups, right? And they may still not be out of this relationship. Keep that in mind. But they're coming towards you with intent. Yeah. Telling you they want to end it with that other person, that other relationship. And they, you know, if they, they may be coming towards you after they end it. A lot of them, that may not be the case. Or if it is over, there's still still a lot of residual drama, right? I just don't feel like this is going to be a clean break. It's I just don't feel like it is. Yeah. Because somebody is going to feel out in the cold. And they're not going to like it. It may be this other person watching social media to see what the hell is going on, right? Seven of Swords. Six of wands. Somebody wants a successful exit strategy. But there's also an energy here where I, and I think it's this other person. Now, okay, when I say that, please keep in mind that if this person is not out of the relationship yet, this is them being, being deceptive and sneaky. Okay, they need to come at you correctly. They may have also been watching you the whole time sneakily watching you the whole time. It could also be this person watching this, trying to keep all of this, you know, from happening. Six of Pentacles. I do feel like um, there is like a legal battle here. There's something that's taking money. But your person is going to, I mean, your person is going to come out of this situation. Now, if they're not totally out of this relationship and they come to you and that's just not, you know, not what you want to do, that's your decision. And it's an understandable decision. Okay. So page of swords. What is this page of swords? Yeah, they've been watching you. You're their wish fulfillment. They've been watching you. Their wish fulfillment is to reconcile. They need to walk away from that other situation. Okay. I do feel like they're going to. I do feel like you're going, they're going to have some epiphany, some clarity about who their 10 of cups really is. Okay. Um, but with temperance and the two of wands, they have to be patient for this leap of faith, right? For this reconciliation. Um, we have this queen of swords energy and the seven of wands. They may very well have someone else in their energy that's keeping them from talking to you, keeping them from coming forward, but they're about to fight the good fight, right? Wheel of fortune and the five of wands. So the wheel of fortune is spinning in your favor. There is a lot of drama that there's, a, you know, they're in some kind of a push pull situation. Um, and, you know, you may be confused about, you know, does this person want to be with me or not? They do. They've got a lot on their plate. They've got to walk away from something else before they can come forward. They certainly, you guys, they could be, they could be, they could be a water sign. They don't have to be, but they're in a situation where somebody really loves them and does not want to be the third party is not going to give up that devil energy with the, with the queen of cups and the three of swords. They're bound to determine not to be left out of this situation. Right. But this person is your two of cups. So they're going to have to fight to end this relationship and it may very well cost them. But I love it. Here's what you have coming. The ace of pentacles and the sun, right? You're their, you're their ace of pentacles. They're manifesting you. They're manifesting timing so that they can come forward to their empress, who they miss, wanting to be in a relationship. I, I do feel like they may very well be in a relationship with this king or queen of swords person. 
But their happiness is you. They're not talking to you in the meantime. Yeah, the moon, they're not talking to you um, until this ending. So some of them may not come forward until they've ended it. I do feel like some of them will come forward before they've ended it. So make sure that you get all your information, right? All right, Leo, that's what I have for you. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, okay? And also comment hashtag Lilith's Window Tarot, all one word. And in the meantime, if you want to book a personal reading, um, that information is below in the description box. And I'm sending you tons of love and light. Until next time, Leo.